Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we are sitting at Ironhold right now and we do have a, a three and a half skull mission we're going to take. Just want to refresh everybody's memory. We did, uh, if we go to settings real quick, um, let's have a look at the difficulty. So I did increase the difficulty, oh I didn't actually increase it in this one. We're going to increase it to hard. Um, just going to go up one. I think this is, each one is roughly half skull. So we are getting to a point where it's, you know, relatively easy. Um, with the levels that we're at. So I'm going to go to hard right now um, just to see how it goes. Um, we're still leaving our contract difficulty variance at four. This is just the contracts generated on the planet. Um, but hopefully we get some um, tougher mechs to fight. Uh, so we're going to leave it there. Everything else is staying the same. I'm not going to bother going through everything, but I haven't, I don't touch this. Once I start, I don't, you generally don't touch it. Uh, mech parts for assembly always stay the same. The only thing I usually touch is contract variance, but right now I think touching en uh, enemy force strength is probably a good idea. We've been hitting a lot of easy missions at, uh, you know, three and a half, four skulls. I'm used to fighting heavy mechs at that range, and we're finding a lot of mediums. So let's see. Um, actually, we've got to save this just to make sure. All right, so we're going to run at that today. Um, also, I want to say thanks to all the people that are commenting. A lot of great comments, a lot of great suggestions for mech loadouts and stuff. Um, I really appreciate all the comments. Um, but I do want to apologize if I miss a comment for whatever reason. I do read everybody's comments, um, or I try to. Uh, and I always put a, a like and a, a little heart on it just so you know that I've read it. But if I miss your comment, I apologize. There are a lot of comments coming in. Sometimes I might miss them. So if I don't, if you don't see that, it's not that I'm ignoring it. It's just that I, I didn't get a chance to, to, to see it. I missed it somehow. So I apologize for that ahead of time. Also, there's uh, I, I, I don't really want to mention this, but I'm going to mention it. There's one person that's putting dislikes on a lot of my videos. And I don't know who it is. And that's fine. If you don't like them, that's great. Um, but um, I, I'd appreciate it just to drop a comment as to why. That's it. If you're actually watching the video all the way through, I don't know if you're just clicking dislike and then, you know, go to another video. Whatever you want to do, that doesn't bother me. But if you're genuinely watching the videos and you like them, put a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what it is. Um, because, you know, I do this for my own entertainment, so I'm not really here to really please everybody else. But I do want to hear if it's something that I can change. More than happy to do that. Just drop a comment in the comment section down below. All right, so let's move on. All right, let's go right into the uh, contracts right now. We are ready to go, so we're going to take the leave a mark. Um, it is against Smoke Jaguar. We'll have to take that, no problem. But it's a destroy base mission. Uh, 521 salvage, so it's really good salvage. I'm hoping that we pick up some mech parts here. So we're going to go full salvage. Oh, yeah, we wanted to double check, too. So, um, yeah, see, I can't actually choose rep anywhere here. Um, oh, here we go. All right, it does do it. Slightly. It's weird that... You know what it is? Is that I was pulling the slider and not real? Yeah, that's probably what it was. I just wasn't thinking when I was doing it. I think, yeah, so we can get a lot more uh, rep with these guys if we want. But really, we're here for mech parts. We can deal with the 9 uh, as opposed to 15. We can just, we, I want to take more missions anyway, so um, we're, we're okay going this route. Uh, unless we really need to jump it up, I'm not really going to worry about it too much. So let's just accept this. And we're going to go with our main lance. So let's pull the secondary lance out of service here. And let's bring in Griff, Mockingbird, El Duce, and Blockade. And we're going with this guy, the D, the E, and the F. All right, let's roll, roll this and uh, see how we do. All right. Up on the hill, eh? Okay. I'm not really a big fan of this map. Uh, I've tried to kind of go this way before, but they keep the high ground on you and they can just nail you down here. So going up this way is really the best, really only viable way. Look at the speed on this guy now. This is crazy. Boom. Look at the evasion! Look at it! <laughs> That's like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten evasion on the Mad Cat. Are you kidding me? I haven't seen more than like seven or eight for like ever. All right, so let's see how these work. That's like, since we changed this from the lower build, it's just, 
insane. I'm liking this. Let's just see how it functions, though. I mean, speed is one thing, but if we can't actually hit anything, that's another thing. I just can't get over what the... the just the evasion on the damn thing. Okay, we're going to reserve here. we got to get Griff out of the way. He's hogging the space here. So, look at this. This is two turns and we're like almost all the way there to the base. Look at <laughs> This is a 55 tonner. Um, yeah, man, let's move up here. We can't target anything. That's okay. I don't really care. Pike, uh, Joust, and a Zora light tank with a heavy turrets. So... That is crazy. Okay, you can't go next then. You'll block the road here. I don't think Duce can go either. Yep. Yeah, he's going to kind of block the road too. Let's reserve. Let's get the bird up. Well, that'll be blockade again. Commander. Yeah, just reserve. Okay, bird, let's get up here. Yeah, nothing to target. Okay. These two Novas are like exactly the same speed, pretty much. Let's move one over here. Kind of get behind the rock. So next turn engaging, for sure. Thank you. Oh, it's turrets. Turrets. I don't think they can... Look at this. Oh my god, I love this mech. Let's just see how it performs, though. That's the most important thing. Alright, I'm going to go with an early... Uh, Warlord. Some good damage off the start. Uh, so, wait, I can't move? This I'm being blocked? Really? I had this happen once before. It's really strange that I can't move. Uh, so Talendale made a few really good comments about uh, using Warlord and when to use it. Uh, check them out in the comments section. Um, yeah, see these medium heavy lasers. I don't mind them when you're in close, but we're, I'm just not getting the performance out of them I'd like to get. Um, let's just leave one off. Uh, but yeah, so he he mentioned you know a few good suggestions on when to use Warlord. Uh, I generally use it just as a. Uh, I mean, I don't with the with the weapons that I, systems that I have right now, I don't really use it as a damage boost because there really is no heavy damage to boost, right? Um, so it's you know better off for me to use it for an extra percentage chance to hit. And for cooldown, which is what I'm using it for pr primarily right now. But he's right. You know, if you can get a, a use it as an early shot off on an enemy, it's uh, it can work out really well. Okay, we're gonna do this and this, and A, and then these to B, and firing. Okay, nice. Okay, so they've only got three vehicles here. I'm hoping they got reinforcements. Or else raising this up by half a skull is like a w big waste of time. Copy that. Um, pretty chunky armor on this guy. Uh, let's hammer him. I copy. Waiting for orders. I don't think those guys back there can really see us, so I'm not that worried. Yeah, so here's a better chance to hit here with the uh, um, heavy uh, medium lasers. Hey. Nice. Okay, we're going to do a multi-target. Uh, or do I? We still got Nova here to go. Duce. Let's go A. Start on the B turret. 
MMLs, eh? I'm gonna try and we might get lucky and hit the side, maybe. So C will take a medium, A will take a large, and then we'll put these two on B and fire. Nice. Okay, some damage on B. Two hits. Nice targeting. Luce. Okay, so once again, a good chance to use Warlord here because we can get a good target on this building. Wow, why is my laser so low on this guy? I'm going to check his targeting here. I think we went ballistic targeting, which is probably why it's so low. Once again, I don't want to get close enough that these guys are going to really see us, so... Gotcha. Wow, it's not like you to miss like that. Aye, aye. Do this. And what are we looking at here? Zora LRM. So let's multi-target. We're, we're going to be going before these guys anyway, so let's do this and this. Put two of these on A and the rest on B. And fire. That's not a kill, really? Okay, got that turret. Target destroyed. Yep. This is supposed to be three and a half skull. Got it. It's depressingly too easy. Just gonna leave the large off. Just saving heat is all we're doing. Okay, so let's target this guy, and fire. Okay, a little over half done. Waiting for orders. I'm there. Once again, I don't want to move too close. So let's do a multi-target if we can. Oh, we can't target these buildings, really? It won't let us target the buildings, really. It's kind of bizarre. Okay. Like we can see the turret silhouettes. I guess they gotta figure that out. How they can get us, let us target the buildings before we can actually have them in visual range. All right, firing. Okay, good shooting. Griff. We have a warlord back. Nah, one turn. Little overheating now. Not too bad though. We have that. Um, the heat bank in here, so we're pretty good. Firing. Ooh, not quite enough, eh? Waiting for orders. This will be, though. Let's go this route. Firing. Yeah, I don't think they're going to have reinforcements. Unless we just move too fast and reinforcements will be coming in in a couple of turns, I don't know. One down. I may have to go up and level here. Again. Oh, I guess we can only fight this building. Terminated with extreme prejudice. Target. Okay, firing. Did I miss with one? I guess I did. No, I didn't. All right, let's go home. So the good thing about this planet, 170,000 increase, is before we started today, uh, it's been a. I didn't record anything last night. This is Friday night for me. Um, ER large. I think we we got three still. Oh, okay, ATM nine. Now we don't have a lot of AT, or we do have a lot of ATM ammo actually, so we don't really need that stuff. LBX5, wow, we can get another one. We got eight of those. LRM10, I don't know. Ultra AC2s, only five tons, right? It'd be an interesting build with a, like a bunch of, if we get like an autocannon build with all AC2s. But, I don't know. 
Um, engine cores. Let's take this for the C-bills. We got lots of these guys. Um, what else do we need here? Light active probe. I don't think we really need that. Um, ATM ammo. I think we're really good on that. There's three of those. Two of these. Regular ATM. We got a bit. LRM Artemis ammo. We only got three. Let's grab another one. We're going to be doing an LRM build at some point, most likely. So let's grab that. Um, so I got a lot to go here. Artemis, we already have. We got two of these. Engine core 200. You know what? Um, Clan case. I might want to take two of these and maybe the 200 core. Um, I think that's what I want to do. I want to make sure we have enough case. Because um, I don't want to use regular case at all if we can avoid it. And a 200 core, I don't know if we'll ever use it, but we might get a light lance up and running. Or we'll have three lances at some point, maybe even four if we keep going, depending on how long we can go for. But um, So let's take the core anyway. We can always sell it if we don't use it. We got like 24 of these now. Yeah, 24 light machine guns. We should probably find a uh, uh, mech that we could do an LMG build on. But anyway, let's confirm this. All right, lots of parts. I'm not even going to go through them all. Uh, there's nothing really amazing that we needed out of that, but that's all right. Okay, so we got this. Um, let's have a quick look at navigation. So the thing that was this, this planet was at 36 percent. Oh, they? You kidding me? So when I first logged in to do this. Jade Falcon Control was at 36%, and I was the only person here. Now there's four people here, but you three of them are Clan Wolf. And they have flipped the planet back to Wolf. Are you serious? Kings, Hotbox, and Bugs Marauders. Marauders, you guys couldn't think of a better name. Come on, guys. Um, all right, well, we got our work ahead of us. So let's have a look. Uh, we, we might as well just take another con. I was going to jump away and jump back but might as well take another contract um i don't know how we're doing with jade falcon but whatever uh that was pretty bad though the amount the amount of stuff that was there so we got one here the general uh, local pirate organization officers moving in the open nah, stop the signal no thank you intelligent agency or intelligent agent is a recovery um captured by wolf wolfie and patrol so Looks like it's going to be two lances because we got data and the main. So let's take this one. See how this goes. That last battle really wasn't a uh, test of our skill. So let's negotiate this and we'll go full salvage and we'll wait till our mechs are back because I'm jumping the gun again. Our pilots at least this time. Um, we didn't take any damage in the last mission so it's not a big deal. Uh, I did have someone mention though that, you know, why can't I run with my... Uh, um, second Lance Pilots and Prime Lance's mechs. Uh, I like to pair my mechs specifically with mech pilots and leave them there um, unless there's some other reason why I have to or if I've got a specific person that I can sub into the to a Lance like a backup person I'll bring them in in the person who's like either injured mech. Um, I like keeping them individually like that because I, I, I'm a true believer that if you really think about it mech pilots why would they be going into different mechs you know what I mean? Like, you could you could argue that as a driver, you can drive any car. But if you've been driving the same car for a long period of time, you just know how the car functions, right? And you ha do have an edge over somebody who's just jumping in the seat. You know, maybe this is like the third or fourth time they've been in the seat of the mech. And while they know how it works, they don't know how that individual mech kind of maneuvers or functions or the little quirks that are involved with it. So I think for realism's sake, that's why I like leaving my mech pilots with the actual mech that they're piloting. That's just how, that's just what I do. All right, so let's have a look at, um, let's go to, what we're we gonna do here? Oh yeah, contracts. So contracts, and we're gonna go to intelligence agent and take the whole thing here. Ba bam All right, so, Main Lance, let's deploy and get this done. Alright, let's see what we got here. So I think this is the first time I've done a rescue on this map. So what do we got here? <laughs> Alright, 
Um, I thought we were supposed to pick up the, uh, the data as well. Guess not. Well, this shouldn't be too, too bad, I don't think. Um, well, without jumping, Max, I guess we have to go this way. So let's do that. I really want to go through the spores. See, think about spores, right? Plus four difficulty to hit units, but you get an additional 20% damage. I would rather not take that corrosive damage. Thank you very much. Better off without it. Commander. All right, Mockingbird, let's get up here. Ten four. It's hard to see. Oh, we're over the hill there. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of rem reminds me of a game I used to play called Lords of Magic. The maps would uh, On the move. change their their orientation, but you couldn't actually change the orientation them of them yourself to look around them. But uh, in some cases, like this case here, right, you'd see the map like this, and you'd be like, uh, okay, is this down the hill? Where is this? I don't understand where this... And you, but you couldn't move the map to be able to see where you were going moving your units. Um, whereas if you loaded into the game and the map was this way, you could easily see where you were going. You just had to remember where all the maps were. Anyway, I digress. Let's continue. Waiting for orders. Quick stepping it. Okay, no bogeys over here. We got a huntsman and take destroyer SM3, stormcrow. Okay. 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 We may have to turn up our difficulty settings a little more if this is going to be indicative of what we're getting, but that's fine. I got to go all the way around now, but I can handle that. We got the speed. We're still getting tons of chevrons, even though we're going through the forest. On my way, double time, Commander. Going full throttle. Going to use the rough terrain because that's what we do. I want to get up with my, all my guys in here and make, make sure we're all in strike range. Ready for orders. Double time. Let's go. Somebody's still hiding somewhere. Commander? Alright, let's do this. Yep. Hetzer. Don't know if you guys play tank games or you're familiar with World War II uh, tanks, but the Hetzer was a uh, German any um, self-propelled gun. 75 millimeter on the front, and naturally sloped armor. It was a really tiny vehicle, but uh, it was a great ambush tank. Uh, yeah, so... I want to push this guy? I think we probably do. Let's go after this leg. Oh, yes! Grind him, baby, grind him! Critical hit, Commander. Down to 16. Yeah. Luce! Can we get a shot on him? We can. Um, once again, prove our chance to hit. Offensive push. Go after the leg. Just going to use the ER mediums. And let's hope. Open prey. No, really. Lucky that one. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Once again. Want this guy off his feet, please. We'll fire it all, though. All That'll do it. Nice. That hit something good. 
Now we don't have enough damage from the uh, Mad Cat 3, but we can do a lot of damage on him. Let's get into, let's say here. And we're not going to waste our Warlord just yet on this guy, but we are going to take this and fire. Yeah, we, we hit a CT on that, I think. No, his arm. Okay, that's better. Got a lot of CT hits, though. Got a lock on me. As long as they're not shooting us. I've been sent for Damn vehicles. What's this guy going to do? Well, we can always core him next turn if we have to. We do. Now, let's get some mech parts. Firing. There you go, baby. Yeah, she always shows us the rest of us up. What do we got here? Storm Crow, okay. Ooh. It's got the lerms on him too, eh? Uh, let's make sure. Let's take this vehicle out. I'm gonna go with Warlord on it. And firing. Okay. Good to go. Luce. Moving out. Ultra 20 on. Or Ultra 10, I mean. Firing. Nicely done. Scored a critical hit. Receiving your I'm worried about that headset though. He's got an AC20 on him, I think. And fire it. Okay, now we can focus on this uh, Stormcrow. Unless the hazard comes in, we gotta kill him first. Alright, Stormcrow time. And on the leg, wow, really hard to hit. That's fine though, firing. Don't know where we hit, oh, we hit the leg, okay, that's good. Good start. Oh, that's interesting, it loaded into the Mad Cat. Okay. So a question then, um, throwing this out to the community. If, let's say, we put four mechs in the hex that we need to grab our um, person out of, um, is it the first mech in that, that gets the person? Or is it, um, like, what is it? Is it the first mech in the order? Um, of your lance, or what? Or is it just random? That could be random too, right? I don't know. Alright, firing. This should be good. Orders. Uh, that's not good. That's better. So you got left? 16. Let's leave this off. Fire the rest. Okay, got his leg. There's the knockdown. So definitely a better precision lance. Gonna need to go after that Hetzer, I guess, with everybody else here. Ah, uh, we don't need to do that. Okay, keep remembering that I'm gonna waste it all firing. Okay. Waiting for orders. Full speed. No target. Yeah, the Hetzer had the really big sloped armor. The armor wasn't very thick on the front in World War II. Um, on the Hetzer. It's made on the old um, the Czech 38T uh, chassis. But it um, the sloped armor made the uh, 
armor protection on the front of the heads are really, really tough, at long ranges especially. Okay, is that guy gone? Okay, Blockade, time to be a hero. What do we got left? Yeah, barely anything. So we're going to go with this just so we don't accidentally kill him and fire. There we go. That was a three and a half skull. I think we need to turn up. Well, maybe the, the difficulty doesn't uh, count until we log out and log back in again. Maybe the difficulty doesn't count until we log out and log back in again. I'm not sure yet, but... Uh, Okay, so 30,000 payout. There's really nothing. But I don't know. if It should be enough to cover whatever damage we took. We didn't take very much, so not really worried about it. All right, so Huntsman parts, 50 tons. Stormcrow parts. Let's grab a couple of those. Regular AC-20, ER larges, Goss Rifle Clan. I think we've got one. We've got two. LRM-15s, best LRM for the weight class. We've only got one of those. Medium pulse, we got tons, ultra fives, endo steel, I don't think we really have any. We've got three, never mind. 330 engine, zero. We could take this for C bills. Could just go for C bills. I don't know. We got any exchangers left? We don't. Let's grab one of those. Um, advanced jammer, eh? AC 20 ammo. LRM, Streak M, Ultra 5 ammo. Okay, so let's just go with the 330, you think? We don't have any 330s. Either that or XL engine for sale. We got two. But you know what? We're also looking at trying to finish up the Argo. Plus, it's going to cost us a lot, I think, once we uh, put our mechs away and bring them back. I know a couple of our... I think... I think our... The uh, Mad Cat 3, it was 1.5, roughly 1.5 mil to drop an XL engine in that thing. So if we had to put it away or bring it back. So let's go that route. Take a little bit of cash, an exchanger, because we don't have any, and two Stormcrow parts. All right, Huntsman part, two Stormcrow parts. And oh, LRM-15, okay. Turn, we've got the other XL engine. Excellent. Ferro fibers. we don't really need. All right, we still got a few, don't we? Yeah, we got six. So, Goss ammo, okay. Okay. Yeah, no influence, that's fine. Almost nothing for repairs. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out, log back in real quick. Uh, see if I can get that extra plus one um, um, difficulty setting in just to see if this next mission makes it, if it makes a difference in this next mission. So, I'll be right back. And poof, we're back. Okay, so... Um, when I was logged out, I quickly took a look at my channel. Uh, Talonil again posted, and once again, another good comment. I probably should probably make a mention of it. Um, so, yeah, if you're ever looking, if you're in clan space and you want to find out uh, what missions will be available and what planets, uh, when you click on the planet, it just says active factions. So these are the factions that you can actually find missions from on the planet. Um, I, you know, I, 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 I kind of knew that, but it's like, you know... Um, I don't, I didn't, I didn't, it was one of those things I never really paid attention to because, you know, ADD much. Um, so yeah, I don't, I didn't, never really thought to mention it or look at it. So here you can get Wolf or Smoke Jaguar, um, you know, Wolf, um, cl uh, any clan mission, uh, uh, Smoke Jaguar, things like that. So it'll tell you where, oh, who's thinking this? Hell's Horses and Horses and Horses. Good job, guys. Although Wolf has moved in and taken that planet, really? Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, we're still here. So let's take a mission now and hope that uh, Half Skull Increase is, log is uh, recorded. Let's go to Command Center Contracts. Two easy contracts so far. The General, that's a new one. Uh, local Pirate, Arden, is it? No. It was just down. It was just down one, I think. Uh, clandestine research, pirate station, capture base. Uh, these are all pirate things. Let's I'll tell you what. Let's bounce out of here and come back. Um, we got to go sell stuff anyway, so can't sell anything here because Wolf hates us too much. 
think we're at the maximum hate level. Let's head over here and travel. Yep. It's nice having a planet only nine days away. I think the shortest travel time I've seen is was eight days, I think, seven days. Something really quick. But it was only in Steiner space that I've seen that I haven't seen anything any lower than that. I'm sure you guys may have encountered something. I mean, it's got to be at least a minimum of five days, right? One day in, one day out, and three for the uh, jump ship. But I found a few low-day pl planets you can bounce back and forth to. So let's visit the store just to see if there's anything interesting, and we'll just keep going. I'm not going to sell anything right away, but uh, heat sinks. Anything interesting ammo-wise? Rack 5? How many of these do we have? We got one. Let's buy another one. I know at some point we'll be using our Rack 5, so... Okay, let's uh, have a look at the contracts real quick. Let's make sure they load properly. Alright, lots of, of um, Smoke Jaguar here. Uh, three Skull, eh? Witness Protection? Escort? Ah, uh, don't have time for that one. Destroy a base. Clan Wolf. Um, no, let's just jump back. So, let's go back. Um, I want to take Jade Falcon missions if we can. So, let's go back here. There's four people sitting on this world. There, someone's probably sitting there going... Yeah, I'll just wait for these guys to try and flip it to Jade Falcon. Then we'll just crush them again real quick so they don't get any um, any foothold. Uh, let's send in the medical team. Sorry, guys. Hate to say that, but can't lose our mech techs. I'm not asking for volunteers because if some of the pilots go down, it's not a good idea. All right. Let's see what we get here. Like Alright, we got a day to jump out of here if we have to. Um, so we got a day on the planet and then nine days back. Well, actually, we'd have to leave today to if we need to sell stuff, but we don't think we'll need to. Uh, contracts, let's see what we get here. Uh, we might get some good Jade Falcon stuff, maybe. Uh, let's quickly have a look at our mech warriors and we'll go back. Alright, so blockade. Alright. We're gunning up here. What do we want to go with next, I think? We want to wait, we want to wait, wait for gunnery, maybe, or go tactics here? Sensor distance. It's always a bonus. And health. Let's go sensor distance. Training complete. I'd like to be able to get eyes on the enemy faster. So we're going to do that with everybody, I think. Except for Griff, and except for Mockingbird, I think. Yeah, we got to wait. That's fine. I'll leave these guys for now. So let's go back to contracts. Come on, come on. Something good. Coupe. Here we go. Yeah, I don't think so. What do you think, guys? Three and a half skull to coupe. It's probably two lances. Rel relatively tough mechs. I don't want to go in and then have to pull out, though. That's the problem. Well, if we're going to do it, let's do it. I mean, let's have some balls of steel and get in here. What do we got here for our uh, rep? 29. So we're not going to lose that much, I don't think, if we have to pull out. Let's keep going. Going to go this route. Let's see if we can get some good salvage out of this. Probably be junk, but we'll see. Let's deploy and get this done. All right. Okay. I don't like this map. So there's two things that can happen. Either the main lance is here, reinforcements from here, or the main lance is here, reinforcements behind. Don't know which one. Either way, we're in a bad start position. But let's get eyes on if we can. Arbiter. We can't even target him? Huh. I guess that rock is in the way. Damn. Standing by. 
Let's see if we can kill this guy. They got good evasion to start, but we're fine with that. Uh, I'm dumping everything into him. Oh, yeah, man. One of the medium heavies hit. That's nice. Let's hope we get something on this guy. Confirmed. I don't want to use Warlord at this point to raise my uh, chance to hit. I'd rather save it to use, raise my damage. Um, yeah, okay. Alright, alright. Do we want to go with the AC? I think we'll leave it off for now just for recoil purposes. Yeah, it's fine. They're all going to move, then we're going to smash them. Good luck hitting, buddy. As long as Griff is up front. So we got eyes on that guy now. Should be able to pull him down next turn. What do we got here? What do we have? Bushwhacker. Okay, we got vehicles on this side. Yep. Heard a vehicle over here. What do we got here? Come on, give me a heavy mech. Roughneck, 65 tons. Okay. First roughneck, roughneck I've encountered. So let's find out what that guy's all about. Another guy coming in. PPC. Gauntlet. Okay. All right. Now we don't have... we got a few gauntlet parts, I think. we got a few bushwhacker parts. Yeah, I know. Another vehicle. Watch my six. Yeah. Can't watch it. You gotta watch it. Striker, hunter. This does not look in like. Well, it doesn't feel like three and a half skulls. Another vehicle. Oh, you move pretty fast. Is that a Bola? Bola, 60 tons. Hunter, Striker, and something else down there. It's probably a, might be a mech. I don't know. Uh, Coordinates received. Yeah. Now's the time. See, Warlord increased the damage on this guy. He's in the open. Firing. certainly did. Let's get into here. Roger. That speed up. And ultra on. Firing. Nice. Enemy down. Cargo truck. Okay. Gun technical. Technical. Any vehicle that you can put a weapon on, apparently. I kind of get that. <sighs> Here's the thing. I've been, been playing it too reckless, I think, a lot of the times. Getting in real close. And letting them get behind me. So i got to be more aware of that. Let's move up into here. Okay, Whacker 85%. Let's Warlord this. Confirm. And I think we're going to try... Leg Shot, maybe? Or just want to shoot him? I think we just want to shoot him. See what we get. So let's just fire. Just want to make sure we're hitting this guy. So we have to kill and run. At least we'll have a good chance of that. You're gonna melee? You are. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. God, that mad cat looks so awesome. Waiting for orders. Roger, Skipper. Bing. Um. Better chance to hit. Let's fire. Yeah, the pulse lasers, although they do little damage, like little smaller damage, I still think 
bang for the buck wise, they're probably still the best lasers to use. Just because they hit so frequently. I know we've been getting good success with it. And when you look at the ER mediums on these guys, the other three mechs, you know, the hit rate's been not bad. At least 60% or more. 60 to 70%, I'd probably say. But still, it's not anywhere near as good as the uh, pulse lasers have been. But as we get as we get moving up, uh, once these mechs get a little heavier, oh, light damage. ninety-four is not light damage. Oh, okay, you're not in the Atticus anymore. I don't have to worry about you too much. That was probably a torso hit, right? It was. Okay, so we're still okay in the torso. Yeah, so as I was saying, as the mechs get heavier, uh, they'll be slower, be easier to hit, I think. We'll have better gunnery, better targeting too. So, I think what I have, the electronics in the, in the um, Mad Cat is what I'm going to look at getting in everybody. Just the evasion on this guy is just insane. Now, I won't get the extra bonus evasion. Um... What do I want to do here? Want to fire a maneuver or we want to just move? I think we should just run. Commander? How far can we get? Shit, not very far. What do we got on this guy? Wow, no thanks. Little better. Ah. Let's go this route. And yeah, fire. See what I mean though about the pulse lasers? They're not hitting for much, but they are hitting. That's the important thing. Yes, Commander. She's getting pretty good with those heavy lasers too. I will give her that. Confirmed. 44, 38, 29. Same. So let's go after the damage guy then. Firing. Yeah, see those ER mediums. Just not cutting it. Let's move. And firing. Nicely done. Got a lot of CT, eh? Look at this. Look at, look at. Oh. Just changes the game completely. Do I want to change targets? I don't think we do. Fifty one, eh? Chase that leg probably. See if we can do it. Okay, there we go. Enjoying the view. Is it raining out? How are you liking those clouds? They've got a sensor yeah. They don't like her. It's because she's super accurate, that's why. Okay. I don't know, I think this feels a you know, half skull tougher. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is what it should be like. I don't know. Three and a half skulls. 
It should seem like a four skull mission, but this doesn't seem like a four skull mission to me. But we'll do a few episodes with it raised up one. And then if um, still not feeling it, then we'll switch up, raise it up another one. Go from hard to hurt me or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bushwhacker would be nice. I mean, they don't have quite the hard points of an Omnimech, but um, the uh, the hard points are nice on it. The fact that we can switch up the engines to different for different speeds and stuff is nice. Uh, and if we get one with lots of uh, missile points, we can turn it into a Lurm boat. We've got lots of LRM Ar Artemis ammo now. I think we got three or four tons of it, so. We got plenty of LRM 20s, a couple of 15s, a bunch of 10s, so we got good versatility that way. Uh, Artemis system, you know, good targeting stuff. We also have a, uh, a fire control system for increased missile damage if we want to go that route. Ooh, yeah, nice shooting, buddy. I didn't move very far, so I mean. And you didn't move at all. Nice knowing you. And firing. Play with the Mad Cat, you get the claws. How are you doing? Arm hit. Heavy PPC. A Thunderbolt 10. We need evasion. Could just push the one side of them though. What do you need? Like if we fire a maneuver on this, let's just shoot straight out. Oh, he shut down. Really? How is he shut down? Oh, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. How is he shut down? I'm gonna fire a maneuver. Just softening him up. I'm gonna back our ass up into here. Uh, something like that. Commander. You cannot do the same thing, but you can do this. Moving out. And how are we doing here? Not that good so far. Firing on his side. Alright, three medium hits. Ah, uh, let's CT this guy. Yeah, I know. Let's see if... Wow, that's bad chances to hit. I'm gonna have to take it, though. Ooh! Wow, the pulse laser's all missed. Really? Mockingbird's getting angry. She's like, ah, I need better weapons. I don't want to use the pulses anymore. Alright, so let's have a look here. Um... Where they're coming from here. We got two down here. I don't know if they're going to make their way back up. I could come around for a back attack on this guy, but I think we should be able to kill him next turn. He's almost done. Uh, this guy's our next target, so we're going to go leg hits on him. Good, he missed. We're going to come around and go leg hits on this guy right here. And these vehicles should be done pretty quickly, I think. All right. So what do we got? Where are you guys going? Okay. Should be able to just... They're not done yet? Wow. The fact that they're staying back there, though, it's probably a good thing. If they all came up to the top here and direct fired us, it would be a different story. Yeah, keep peppering us from back there. We're good with that. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right, I'm back. I, sorry, I had to pause there for a second. I I gotta apologize if you're hearing talking in the background. It's my wife and my son downstairs, my my eldest, my 15 year old, and uh, he's on Spectrum. But they're having a uh, long discussion about neurodiversity. So, they're uh, my wife's actually writing a paper on it right now. So, it's just kind of uh, 
background noise laughing and interesting stuff going on. I had to go down and check what was going on because I thought it was my youngest one who's at a sleepover right now. I thought it was them coming home crying. So anyway, <laughs> that being said, let's get back into the battle. Standing by. Um, so you got good shooting, but I don't want to move you until I know this guy is dead. Whacker's got to go down hard here. Or the gorilla. Sorry, not the gorilla, the gauntlet. How are we going to... He's in a good spot, man. If we just barely move, though. That's the Ultra 20. Don't think I want to... That's a little better, but worse, way worse chances to hit. I think we take this one. It's not the best move in the world, but it is going to give us what, the results that we want. So we're going to take it. Gotcha. gotcha. Commander. Now. We can do this. Rough neck. Rough in the jungle. Um, let's just shoot. Uh, thousand armor, huh? Let's just soften him up. Get him thinking yep. about his life choices here. Okay. Pretty good chances. Are we going to... Nah, let's just soften them. Roger. Oh, that was a couple of groin shots there, if I've ever seen it. God, he's almost done for. Let's finish him up. Didn't want to do it, but we're going to do it. Oh! How much do you have left? We didn't even hit the CT. We hit the farthest part away from where we were shooting from. Really? Well, at least he shot at me. Good luck with that evasion, man. Okay, with this guy cleaned up, next turn the vehicles are on the chopping block. I think we give this guy's kill to, to uh, Mockingbird. Um, just because she's got more accuracy, I think. Just need to get a few hits in the CT, and we got more than, more than enough shots for that, I think. So it'll be interesting. I didn't check how much rep we would get out of this, but uh, it'll be interesting to see that. Look at the movement on this thing. It's just insane. This is the Bola. Okay, so that's... Telling me I'm going to hit the front. But this tells me I'm hitting the back. Well... Let's just fire it and see what we get. So what was accurate then? That was side hit, so it doesn't tell me anything. No back or front. Alright, I have no idea. Luce. Hammer the same guy, please. Let's max out our damage. And firing. There we go. Vehicle stealth destroyed. Standing by. I'm there. Yeah, I think we can probably push this one too. CT and fire. There we go. 
Just gotta make sure. Target down. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. Strikers on the side, hunter on the front. Sit the striker from the side. Yeah, I'm gonna warlord this. Because why not? And fire. Alright, good solid damage. I wonder if we change up blockade's loadout here. I mean, that Ultra 10 is working really well. We could use him as a hammer, put an Ultra 20 on his on his, uh, on his his mech, see how that works out. Or an LBX 20 or something. Or the other thing is, I hate to say this because I, I don't want to do it, but we put the Ultra 20 on the Mad Cat and use it to <laughs> sprint in for back shots. I don't know. Okay, Birdie, let's get in here. Acknowledged. Chance to hit this guy in the back. Pretty darn good. Uh, he's taking damage on the other side, though. And this one's got 580. Alright, we might hit here. Let's just take it, see if we can get this guy. Couple of big solid hits on him. Okay, internal damage. And he's gone. Got his engine, I guess. Let's move into the trees. Gotta put this boy in the trees. Tactical. Uh, a lot of armor for a tactical. Let's take him out. Take him out tactically. Yeah, let's clean this up. I blockade, start on this guy. Stay out of the trees. Firing. Copy that. And Luce. Stay out of the trees. And firing. Wow, didn't get him. Significant damage though. Yeah, a couple of good hits on him, he's done. Even just one good hit really. Not gonna save you. Pretty much whichever of my guys goes first is gonna kill him. Standing by. Well, you're first in the order, so you get the first shot at him. Firing. Wow. Critical hit, Commander. You don't even need to move, buddy. You just stand there and finish him up. There it is, folks. Let's go home. Good run. Mission successful. Okay, contract payment increased by 20%. We should make some sea bills out of that, I think. We didn't really take any damage. I'm not going to bother looking. Got a bit of damage on the Storm Crow. A little bit of damage on the uh, Mad Cat as well. So, Bushwhacker parts. I know we have different versions of the Bushwhacker. Gauntlet parts. We got five gauntlet parts, really? Take that. Advanced AMS, eh? Three tons. Well, well, what? Really? Intercept missiles fired at any Lance member within range. Intercept is 40%. Fire 20 shots, one heat per shot. That's actually pretty good. Overlast AM firing is intercept chance is 60%. Overload has got a 50% chance to jam. Well, I know we're probably going to start needing these for heavier mechs. Um, I'm just going to drop it there for now. I don't know if we'll take it or not. Tag, Thunderbolts, Case, Case 2. It's regular Case 2 though, so we don't want that. 280 core. XL, regular XL engines. Eh. Regular double heatsink kit. We do have a mask here. Mm, don't have any left. It's a possibility. AMS ammo. Which we don't have, right? We got one of. So we could run an AMS. Yeah, let's go. Let's go this route. 
Let's confirm this. Okay, we didn't get any other mech parts, but we weren't getting a lot anyway, so a lot of garbage, but you know, this is pretty good. This is pretty good, so. All right. Um, yeah. 52,000. Okay, not bad. So that wasn't such a bad coupe. We've got some more uh, rep now. Let's have a look at, before we leave the episode, reputation. So I want to pull a few more missions off at that level. So we're liked right now. We've got 39. Yeah, man, 39. We're climbing. Good stuff. Um, so I want to pull a few more missions off before I make a determination on that one skull increase. Right now, from what I've seen, which is just that one mission. Eh, marginal increase, I don't know. But we'll see in a little bit. Uh, probably what we'll do between episodes is I'm going to jump to the adjacent planet. Um, and I'll come back here and see if we can pick up some missions. So I've got a couple of Clan XL engines we can sell and some other stuff that we can just get rid of to keep our sea bills up. Maybe I'll take another um, uh, Argo component, which we can get knocked off in the, in the meanwhile. So, yeah. Uh, also, too, just to keep you updated, I haven't been able to see any more information um, on the uh, Rogue Tech patch for 1.5. I don't know when that's coming out. They're still saying that the patch that I'm running right now is the most stable patch, so that's what I'm going to stay on. Um, it's uh, 998 build 12 hotfix 5, I believe, something like that. Um, but it is the one that they're uh, the Discord is saying is the most is the most stable and the most current. So I'm going to stay on this one. There is a 999 floating around. Uh, I don't know if that was just put out to beta testers or what that was but I know that they're saying there is a 999 just it's not updated for 1.5 at all yet so it's completely unstable so anyway that being said we're going to leave the episode here if you like to drop a like uh, if you haven't subscribed please please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below I always love comments and until next time we'll see you later